Yo, dog, Kenny Boucher here, Next Level Painting. Let's jump right into it. We're going to work on some heated metal effects today. I know we've covered it in the past many years ago, but I'm going to show you a simple formula for laying down that heated effect with a secret weapon. Secret weapon miniatures formula. This is Orange Rust. Now, this is my add-on. They sell two heat paints, but I like to always start with an orangey brown. We're going to get it down in the airbrush. We're going to thin it down with plenty of flow improver. We're going to get the gangster gumbo up on deck, keeping it super thin. Here's that battle cannon. The trick is to go on very thin, multiple thin coats because we actually want the metal to show through a little bit. We're going for a slightly more realistic effect, but you know me, I'm not like really all sold on that realism. But I want some of those ridiculously over the top streaky dry brushes I did on the barrel to show through a little bit, give it a little bit of distortion, a little bit of, a little bit of weathering, a little bit of texture. It's very important to go thin. Now, I say that a lot, but maybe some of you guys don't understand what I'm talking about. Airbrush, double action. Push the trigger for air. Rock the trigger back for paint. That simple. Mechanics of the airbrush, I'm going to show you right here. Push the airbrush down 100%. Nothing but air will come out. It's not until I begin to rock it back that I introduce the slightest amount of paint. And the second I see the paint begin to form on the barrel, I lock in at that exact range and I be patient and I lock it in, feather it, multiple thin coats, and you will get the thinnest, most subtle effects with the airbrush. All right, here we go. Purple heat and blue heat, secret weapon miniatures. We're gonna start off with that purple heat right here. Same exact protocol, we're gonna thin it down with a little Vallejo flow improver. Gonna mix a little bit in. Now, the nature of these heats that they make, they're very thin, they're very glazy. So you can do them with the paintbrush pretty easily. Now with the airbrush, we're gonna thin them down. It's gonna take many thin coats to get the effect we want. In effect, purple and blue heat are the heat. So here we go, we're gonna lay it down over that orange brown. You can see it's giving you already a natural color. It's very interesting. We're seeing the purples play off the browns very fun several thin coats as usual we're just gonna bang it out be patient lock it in blow a little air on it periodically to seal it up that's the that's the air air, air technique we're even gonna throw a little bit on that heavy stubborn no big deal here it is it's dried for a little bit we're gonna throw on another coat increasing the purple but letting it stay dramatic toward the tip but more feathered toward the barrel length we want to sort of reduce the effect as we get toward the exit of the missile or whatever. So as we bring the heated effect toward the very tip, it's gonna get smaller and smaller and smaller. We're not gonna undo or wipe out all the previous stages. We're just trying to add to them. That's the trick. A little bit more flow improver. Let's switch to the blue heat and let's start making this happen. This is where it really starts to take shape, guys. Now we're staying busy in the beats lab. We're working on both battle cannons at the same time. As one dries, we work on the second coat and the other one always trying to be efficient. Now we're gonna thin this blue out, get it nice and consistent, percolate the pot. Here we go. All right, same as before. Very subtle, build it up. It's gonna be very violet, very deep purple as it plays off of the, the, the actual purple we put on before. It's going to take many coats to make it final blue. Now we want to take our time and nurture it. Let it blend into this purple. Let it change the colors. And then once it starts actually spraying blue, we know we're on the right track. So this is going to take many thin coats. Now you could just blast it on much thicker, much more electric. We've done that in the past here on Next Level Painting. And that's that electric style. Here I'm trying to show you slightly more subtle techniques here, keeping the paints thin. You can see the streaky metallic effect of the barrel is showing all the way through all the colors. So you know it's still metallic. You know we're just tinting it. Now here we go. I don't know, fifth coat of blue. We're just being quick. The, the coats are taking less and less time to do. The second they start to look blue, you know you're doing it right. Then you set it down, you let it dry, pick up the other one, do it again. It's not until after it dries, after the paint settles, that it's still blue. So you know that it's ready for the final pass. So we're getting a real good effect. You can see how dark it is, how it's giving you that very uh, hot, singed look. Well, we want to take it to electric blue finally at the tip, but I'm just, I love how if you approach it naturally with these thin coats, it does almost what it, what it does in real life. And the only reason I went for that exaggerated streaky dry brushing is so you guys can see through the coat to the airbrush and see exactly how thin they are. 
you might not be able to pick it up under normal circumstances. But that's what we're going for. We're going to do a lot more work on this battle cannon. Don't worry. We're going to make it look suitably chaotic because believe that next level painting is working on some renegade knights. Can't stop. Won't stop. All right. Now we're getting a nice blue tip. That's exactly what we want, what we want with that bluing. Final approach. Make it look its best. I've been known to go in with a paintbrush after this and drop a couple of edge highlights. You don't have to if you don't want to, but there he is. He's looking suitably awesome. It's giving him that final focal point. But hey guys, we got tons of videos. We're covering a lot of projects. And if you guys don't mind, I am on Patreon. It is my crowdfunding page. Throw me some support if you can. Come over, unlock these videos for as little as $6 a month. You get early access videos up to two weeks ahead of time. We have multiple reward tiers, including monthly gift bags and now private lessons.